Danny Acosta here with Herman Toronto, victorious here at Strike Force in San Diego. What's it like to get this victory here, uh, you know, in your city and the first fight of the night? Um, feels good, man. Feels great. Uh, I appreciate the crowd coming out and supporting. Uh, I want to thank uh, Strike Force, Scott Coker, um, Zufa, the UFC, uh, for giving me a chance to uh, prove myself that I'm uh, above the level of uh, elite level fighters. And, um, you know, I just want to put the island of Guam on the map. I'm from Guam and uh, want to represent everyone out there, the fuck I familiar and my gym undisputed. Feels good. Thank you, San Diego, for coming out. You're 2-0 on Force now. Uh, you know, obviously you had a, a tough fight here. What was it like to get that victory in the last minute? You know, it was a lot of back and forth in there. Uh, you know, how'd you feel about the fight? Um, Chris was very tough. Um, I wasn't expecting him to be that tough. Uh, he, he definitely surprised me. Um, I got real tired in the second round um, just from the wrestling and stuff. And uh, I was kind of being lazy and laid there, and I got pounded. I paid for it. But um, uh, I finally caught my breath and got my second win, and uh, I came back in the third round. And... Um, picked up the pace and took him down and mounted him and uh, was trying to finish him. We, we scrambled and uh, I took the opportunity for the submission. It was there and uh, I gave it everything I had to finish it. Would you say that cardio is the biggest thing you need to work on going forward? Yeah, definitely the cardio. Um, I actually took this fight on uh, a week and uh, five days notice. Um, they were looking for uh, some local guys, probably, uh, you know, just to uh, bring in a, a bigger crowd and stuff. But um, I appreciate uh, them giving me the chance to come here again and uh, do my thing. And... Uh, yeah, man, I'm glad to be here. Uh, there were a lot of back and forth instances in the fight. Did you see the arm bar at any other time? And how did you set it up? Uh, talk about working with Barrett Yoshida, you know, one of the best grapplers out there. Um, yes, I did. Um, I tried to uh, set the arm bar up, but uh, we were pretty sweaty uh, at the end of the first round and in the second round. And um, uh, he just uh, postured and stacked me, and it slipped right off. Um, I also shot a, a triangle, and um, he uh, stacked and... Uh, Try to stack past me and swept it off, but I gained my composure back and got my guard back. Um, I train with Barrett um, five days a week, you know, as much as I can. Um, uh, to me, he's the number one uh, jiu-jitsu coach in the world, you know. Uh, he really takes time and uh, puts in for his fighters and stuff, you know. Um, he's like a dad to me and stuff, kind of took me under his wing. And, uh, you know, um, hopefully now I can get my blue belt. You know, uh, uh, I've been fighting for a while and got a couple submission wins, but, um, you know, uh, Barrett doesn't give belts out that easy, you know, so uh, I've won some jiu-jitsu tournaments and, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get my blue belt. <laughs> if you don't get your blue belt for Christmas, uh, you definitely have this win going into the holidays here. Uh, what can fans expect from you in 2012? Um, just uh, a bigger, stronger, better Herman, more prepared. Um, you know, uh, hopefully uh, I'll have some time to prepare for the fight a little bit more than I did this time, but um, there's no excuse if I say yes to the fight, I should be uh, ready to go, you know. Um, on my part as a professional athlete, I should be ready to fight at all times. You know, that's my job. And um, 2012 is going to be a new year. It's going to be a big year for me. Um, I think this is just uh, the start of my career. And um, uh, to the fans, expect big things. You know, um, uh, the people of Guam, we're strong, you know. We're athletes, too. We got heart and athleticism. We're humble. And uh, I'm going to do my best, you know, to represent my island hard, you know. Um, put it all out there. I fight with everything I got to the last breath, you know, I'll give it everything I got, you know, 110%, you know what I mean, for Guam, you know, people of Guam and, of course, everyone in the world, but uh, mostly Guam, you know, I love you. Yeah. Herman Toronto.